guys, welcome back to Beyond Studio Pilates. My name's Hannah, and today I'm going to take you through a 10 minute core workout where we really focus on the breathing and how to engage those deep abdominal and pelvic floor muscles. I hope you really find this beneficial. So, we're going to start on our backs. And the first thing we're going to think about is that setup. So, making sure your feet, knees, and hips are in a line. And then thinking about your core muscles. So I want you to really focus today on drawing your ribs down towards your hips, keeping hold of that connection, scooping up those um, pelvic floor muscles. So feeling that internal squeeze from the back all the way forward to the front. So you're zipping everything up. Little gap remains under that low back core. Engage from here. You're going to bring one leg to tabletop, knees coming to over hip, shin, is parallel to the ceiling, taking an inhale, remember wide thoracic breathing. And then on the exhale, you're going to lift the other leg into your tabletop position. Knees are staying over, your hips, shins stay parallel with the ceiling. Arms are coming out to the side, so they're just gently resting and giving you a little bit of support as well. Belly button to spine, so maintain that core connection, pelvic floor on. From here, you're going to bring your feet together and take your knees out to the side. Holding this position, you can then either put your fingers near your ears or you can keep your arms on the floor, bring them next to your side. And we're just going to slowly curl up. So you're just bringing your chin in towards your chest, holding at the top for an inhale. And then exhale, slowly coming back to the mat, holding here for an inhale. Exhale, head comes off, shoulders come off, stretching your hands down your sides or keeping your fingers near your ear, hold for an inhale. Think wide thoracic breath and then exhale, slowly replacing yourself back to the mat. Two more like this, so we're going to inhale here. Exhale, up and stretch those fingers away, hold for an inhale. And then exhale, slowly coming back down to the mat. Final one like this, take an inhale, core engage, pelvic floor on. Exhale, head up, stretch those fingers away, hold it here for an inhale. And then exhale, bring those arms back down, head, neck and shoulders return to the mat. So now we're going to add on a little bit to that. So have a little look and then decide whether you want to stick with what we've just done or take it up a level. So from uh, now what we're going to do is take an inhale. Then you're going to exhale. Take your feet down to the floor. Tap the floor with your feet. Check in with your core. So make sure you haven't lost that connection. Think pelvic floor on. You're going to take an inhale at the bottom. Then you're going to exhale bring those legs back up and as your legs come back in you're then going to stretch your upper body down keeping that chin tucked take an inhale come back to the mat exhale legs down to the floor hold for an inhale exhale legs come up inhale stretching down keeping that little gap underneath your low back keep thinking belly button to spine Core engaged, pelvic floor on and strong. Stretching your fingers down, make sure you tuck your chin, hold, and then slowly releasing back down to the mat, tapping those feet, keep your knees wide, core engaged, bring those legs back up, stretch your hands down your side, hands and head come back down, legs go back to tap, belly button to spine, bring those legs back up, stretch your upper body down towards the mat or down towards your toes should I say, hopefully all of you is on the mat, hold and lift, hold and stretch, upper body down, lower body down, really focusing on that core connection, make sure you're not letting your back arch or your belly down, pelvic floor engaged, Holding on to those core muscles. 
And we're going to do two more like this. So inhale, upper body down, exhale, lower body down. Hold for an inhale. And then exhale, legs up, inhale, upper body up. Final one here, holding at the bottom for an inhale. And exhale, legs up, inhale, up, body up. And then bring your knees back together. You're going to bring one leg down and two legs down. Bring your knees and your feet together. Core engage, so check in with that little gap. Make sure you haven't pushed your back into the mat and tilted your pelvis out of its neutral. Arms this time can come out so they're a little bit wider apart. Belly button to spine. Going to let your legs fall over to the left hand side, keeping your shoulder blades in contact with the floor, holding it here for an inhale. Think wide thoracic breathing, breathing into the back of your ribs. Take an exhale, bring your legs back to the middle, holding in the middle for an inhale. And then exhale, rolling to the other side, holding it there, inhale. And then exhale. Pushing the breath down your body as you come back to the middle, holding in the middle for an inhale. And then exhale. Take these legs to the side, holding it there. So remember your hip can roll off the floor, but your shoulder blades are staying in place, holding for an inhale. Feel that breath in the back of your ribs. Hold for an inhale and then exhale. Back to the middle. Inhale in the middle. And exhale. Holding there for an inhale. Pelvic floor engaged. And exhale, back to the middle. Going to do two more to each side. So moving on your exhale, holding it there. Inhale, exhale. Really use those obliques, bring yourself back to the middle. Hold in the middle for an inhale. And exhale, rolling your legs to the other side. Hold it for an inhale. And then exhale, back to the center. Final time to each side. Exhale and move, holding it there. Make sure your shoulder blades stay in contact with the mat. Inhale, and then exhale, back to the center. Hold in the middle, core engaged. And then exhale, to the other side, hold it here. And then exhale, back to the middle. Taking your feet out, arms up and giving yourself a full body stretch. And then from here, you're going to bring your feet back to the floor. And then we're going to bring those legs back up into tabletop, making sure your knees are over your hips, shins are parallel with the ceiling. If this is too much for you, you can always take a leg down if you just need to make the exercise slightly easier then you're going to bring your arms into the air careful your shoulders haven't gone up to say hi to your ears we're going to take an inhale pelvic floor engaged exhale stretch your arm up so your shoulder blade comes off the floor and then you're going to take your arm out to the side and your leg out straight in front of you hold for an inhale exhale back to the center hold in the middle for an inhale Exhale, other side, stretch the arm up and away. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, back in, hold in the middle for an inhale. And exhale, stretching up and out, holding it there. And exhale, bring it back to the center. Hold in the middle for an inhale. And exhale and out, hold for an inhale, and exhale, back 
to the centre, hold in the centre for an inhale and exhale, stretching up and out, hold for an inhale, check in with that core, make sure your back isn't arching, belly isn't doming, pelvis is staying in your neutral, using the breathing to really control the movement, engaging those core muscles, hold for an inhale, exhale, hold in the middle for an inhale and then exhale, stretching out to the other side, holding it, inhale, exhale, back to the centre, one more time to each side, doing really well, stretching up and out, hold it, and exhale, back in, hold here for an inhale, exhale, stretching up and out, hold for an inhale, and exhale, bring yourself back to the centre, one leg down, two legs down, arms are coming out to the side, this time gluing your ankles and knees together, core engage, make sure your ribs are connected to your hips, you're just going to let your legs fall over to the left hand side, this time your hip and your shoulder blade can come off the floor, you're just going to hold that stretch, just relax into the ground, let the ground support your weight and don't kind of hold any tension anywhere, you can't just relax into the ground. Still thinking about wide thoracic breaths, holding on to that core and pelvic floor. One more breath here. And then bringing your legs back to the centre, we're going to roll to the other side. So just letting your legs roll to the side just taking them to wherever is comfortable, wherever you can hold it. If you, if you, if your legs are kind of in the air, you can always just pop a pillow underneath them to support them if they need it, and then just relax into the floor, just let everything go, just feel heavy, let the floor support you. Bring your legs back to the middle and working your way back up to sitting. Thanks for joining my core workout today. I hope you found it awesome. Have a super day and have a look around my playlist and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these videos. Bye for now.